Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to, well I guess it's um, People Mover Inc, uh, People Movers, People Movers, what, whatever I've decided to call it, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's been uh, a little bit since, uh, since you were last here, uh, nothing's really changed, I just uh, ran the clock a bit, uh, and uh, uh, so now there's a been uh, uh, basically uh, up the cash uh, situation by about four million, and that will allow doing something uh, useful uh, today. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get a second train going from uh, uh, Columbia to Naperville uh, because this is hovering high enough that. And this takes long enough. And I think it'll work better if I do that. Uh, now, to do that, I'm going to need a passing place or two along this line. So I want to put one close to the junction here. Uh, it, it, by putting it close to the junction, then the trains can, can pass right here. And we don't bottleneck this, right? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Uh, which is going to just need a... Uh, short bit here. I don't know, about that long, we'll, we'll say. It's longer than it needs to be. And I will need to uh, whack in a couple of signals. Good, we have a passing place there. But I think realistically about halfway up, well, maybe a little more than halfway up, say about here, uh, I think it would be good just to put a second one in. I don't know, here? Sure, here. Yeah, okay. So a couple of passing places. Uh, and that's all we really need along here. Uh, do that. Okay, so there's two passing places. We can put a second train on that line now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be uh, somewhat uh, useful anyway. Oh, right. And the other thing, now that uh, this is here, I definitely want to get rid of uh, this signal. Because this signal will handle it now, right? So, uh, now I need to go up here and I guess we'll grab this train and I will duplicate it. So, we're going to manage the vehicle and we're going to go in here and... Uh, duplicate. We don't have enough money. How much do we need? Wish this would tell you how much. Duplicate. Not enough. Uh, duplicate. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So, uh, that is a second train on that line. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's just, uh, observe this train, uh, from a little bit up, you know. Yeah, a little bit up where we can see what's going on around things. Just let this uh, this tick tick around here, uh, and realistically, uh, this is probably as many trains as we need for this line. Uh, you can see that Columbia has uh, grown a little bit, uh, and that's that's to be expected. I did a little bit of road renovation, but not much. So we picked up 42, and that was everything that was waiting, every one that was waiting there. So this one guy's going to pick up nobody, probably. Uh, but once they space out, they, they'll be running uh, probably two-thirds full, I think, ultimately. Because remember, this is a long climb up the hill, right? So, yeah, it's a long climb up the hill. And it's that time between trains that's going to make all the difference. Uh, we do have what looks like sufficient capacity between uh, Durham and Daly City. So I'm not going to be expanding that. Ultimately, I, I would want to get a passenger building or something connecting to this road here. But, if you take a look here, you can see that that's not going to happen due to this. Right? So I'd have to 
kill this road, rebuild it, and uh, that's uh, that's not that's just not on right now. So I'm not going to do it. That costs a lot of of the the dollars that are kicking around. Now, the next project. That's what we need to do. The next project. Now I was wondering if I should uh, extend the line down from Daly to New Haven, uh, and I'm thinking that might not be the worst idea. Now the question then becomes, where do I put the uh, train station in New Haven? And that kind of depends on what I want to do for the uh, for for connecting these other cities. Now, looking at the map, it looks like what I should do is run the train, run a, run a train line through from Charlotte to Everett to Huntsville, through Chicago, Chandler, Glendale, basically following this road. And I think that's probably not the worst idea. Now, if I'm going to do that, I will need to bring the uh, day, like bring the Columbia line down and connect over at Huntsville ultimately right uh, and the DC line probably uh, DC would probably be uh, also connecting through New Haven yeah and maybe down Huntsville and then uh, uh, than to Tulsa or something like that. But we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it, right? Because, you know, that's the sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, tactician I am, you know, burn the bridge before I cross it, you know? No, realistically, uh, the next connection uh, should be New Haven. So uh, that leaves the question, where in New Haven to put the uh, station? And I think, perhaps, it makes sense to put it right about here. Except for we have to bulldoze a lot of buildings to do that. Well, let's find out how much that costs, right? Uh, that is... No, I want this. I want 80 meters. Uh, we'll do two tracks here. Yeah, wang it around and find out what it costs to drop it in here. 520, 800. Okay, so we're going to be looking at 450. That's quite a lot uh, to uh, bulldoze all of that stuff, but it covers most of the town, so that might not be the worst spot to put it. Well, it's going to be expensive to build the track into there, too, isn't it? Yeah, see, it'd be cheaper just to put it here, right? Uh, and I'm going to have to run a local line anyway, ultimately. And if I put it here, uh, I could catch the DC line coming down through this as well. Though... Yeah, I'm not sure. Now, if I go from through New Haven, then I could come out at Everett. That would work better for the line layouts. Yeah, it would. In that case, up here is probably appropriate. Okay, so let's put it here. Bam. Okay, so that's New Haven. So I'm going to need to do the, the local lines, uh, but uh, I'll do the local line there off camera. Now what we need to work out here is getting the train connection up to here. And to do that, we have this road here that's kind of in the way. We need to get on the other side of it. You know what, I think we can just bull right over it so if i did that and we'll just level coming out of there yeah okay we can we can uh we can uh, accommodate that yeah there's a straight track that that'd be appropriate there 
And then we need to come around something like this. That is a nice line on that. And then we can come over to, say, about here. And do a connection. I uh, will connect like that. Now, if you're wondering why I put two platforms here, it's because I'm going to need the platform to handle uh, a DC traffic coming through uh, to Chicago, uh, probably. Uh, let's just take a look here, actually. Chicago is tiny. Huntsville is smallish. Yeah, these guys are all relatively small. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to need the line coming from DC to connect into this stuff, right? So uh, that's why two platforms there. So I'm also going to extend two tracks out of here just a short way uh, and uh, put a connection like that. And I'm going to put a single crossover here. Right. Okay, so why that? Because I'm going to ultimately need the uh, the track going off this way, and we're going to end up with some contention. Uh, I'm also going to need a, a second platform here, right? So we'll... No, we need tracks. So we need tracks, and we need platforms. Bam, bam. And then we're going to put stairs and lids. Yeah. Now, what do we need to do here? Well, we need to do some stuff with the tracks, right? So I'm going to bring this out a short distance. And uh, this will be another passing place at the station. Okay, come on. We just need the uh, the cash to go positive to finish that. Yeah, I could go and grab more loan, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to. Maybe. Um, no, nah, the 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 easy thing is just to borrow a bit. Yeah. Uh, okay, and we'll uh, complete that. Okay, and then I'm going to need to get a flat crossing there. No. Uh, do that. Do this. And then this. Right, so that allows passing at the station. And, and then I can just extend that line all the way out here. Now, that's not ideal. But I'm going to do it that way. So I need a signal there and a signal there. And one here and one here. So, uh, what's the, uh, the rest of the plan here? Well, I'm going to need to add uh, another train on this, this line here and add another stop, right? So, uh, let's get the line up. We'll manage the line. So, we're going to go to Daily City. And then to New Haven and back to Daily City. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah, and that's about as long of a line as you'd want to run there. Uh, and it's still, it's going to overflow passengers-wise. Uh, and at some point, I'll either need to split it or put a lot more trains on it or longer trains, right? Now, if we manage the stuff here, uh, right, let's edit this and find out what the, what it costs. $1.8 million. Huh. So if we look in here, 
Okay, I've got three million, so I can get a manage vehicles. So duplicate one. Okay. That should be uh, all that's needed here. Uh, so let's just, let's ride the train, you know? That's like 95% of the fun of all of this stuff is riding the trains, don't you think? Um, and that, um, you know, that uh, that's a thing, right? You know? Um, so I'm going to, uh, well, let's just ride the train a little bit here. Uh yeah, uh, just to make sure that the new uh, segment is is working, and then uh, and then I'm gonna take a pause and uh, on the recordings, and it'll be time to roll time forward a little bit more. So uh, after this little train ride here, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna duck out, and uh, we'll we'll let things run forward get some cash so more stuff can happen. Uh, I'll also uh, plumb in the local line at uh, at uh, was it New Haven wherever it is uh, uh, before uh, coming back. Uh, that uh, seems like the thing to do doesn't it you know because that's kind of tedious um, yeah New Haven so no, we'll just take a look at our, our new line here the the new train line and you know i think i kind of like the look of these single track sections yeah uh building double track everywhere which is the uh the meta for the game uh you know late game it's uh uh you know just it's a thing right uh anyway yeah here we go here's our uh split point and uh Everything's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, let things run forward, and uh, I'll be back after I've done a little bit of tinkering uh, and built up some cash. So uh, it'll be a moment for you, but it'll be a while for me. Well, I'm back now, and uh, I did one thing uh, while the cash was accumulating that I may or may not remember to edit in a, uh, you know, a something of here. Uh, probably won't. Uh, and that's just, I reduced the number of carriages on the Naperville uh, line from three to two. Uh, and that actually switched it from barely uh, turning, uh, up, uh, barely positive on the, uh, on the, um, uh, accounting periods to uh, averaging uh, net positive. So uh, you can see here that uh, averaging between 100 and uh, lots more uh, K uh, per accounting period, and that's um, that's good. And the loan is entirely paid off. That means there's 10 million available in loans for further expansion, and that is. Uh, so you can see how this is going here. And that is where things start. Now, uh, what I will be doing here is connecting up to uh, Washington. Uh, the reason for that is this. is 196 here. Uh, that means this is a city uh, level place and it will get some amount of traffic going. And that's kind of what what's needed here right uh now washington will probably connect onward ultimately to sioux falls and maybe over to pueblo uh sioux falls will probably be a a junction point for this this uh uh peninsula thing here uh and uh yeah i'm not and i'll probably end up getting over to this area from garland but uh anyway the Washington uh, DC thing here is where the uh, development is going right now. So I will get started on that. And it will continue through across the, uh, the water. So that's kind of how I want to put the, uh, the station in, right? So I'm going to 
Uh, I'm going to try and get this somewhat central. Uh, let's get this up so it's available. Uh, right. Uh, maybe I'll just put this over here. And, no, I need here, and I'm going to need one of these. That's a cargo station. I'm going to need one of these. Uh, 80. I'm going to need, I'm going to want two tracks on here. And I'm going to put it in right about in here. Why? Because it's nice and central. Uh, let's get this close enough. I can see what I'm doing. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Uh, is that about right? Eh, yeah, that's about right. So if I put it here, I need a million because I'm going to demolish buildings. But you know what? I have the million, so I can do that. So if we borrow here... Now we have the million, right? And that is blam. Okay. That is that. Now I need to get a track out uh, going this way. So that is the, the plan here. Uh, I'm going to pause it while I do that. Now why? Uh, obviously so that I don't have buildings reconstruct and get in the way. So we're going to come out here level. Why? Uh, just because it's going to make a few things in the future potentially nicer. Uh, right, okay. So we'll flatten that out using the usual trick. And do this. And we'll come out to... Yeah, I'll come out to here, double-tracked. Uh, come out here just a little bit further. And connect that together. Yeah. Now that that's double tracked, we're good there. Now here, I need to come, I need need a uh, track coming out of here. And I think the track to build will go uh, off of here. So, so I could do, I could just do that. Yeah, I think I could. I'll probably have to rejigger this in the future. Let's bring this out to about here, just so that that's uh, easier to do. Now, by doing it this way, uh, the, the train that I launched can come in this way, and then it can go back and forth on here. Uh, right, so this is going to have to... Well, we're going to let that float with the train now. Uh, right. Okay. So, the, you know, if I were to turn on the ugly, um, okay, turn on the ugly. No, that's water. That, yeah. Oh, this isn't going to be too bad. So, I can go in... Oh, like this? Yeah. Yeah, I could go in about on that angle, I think. And come up this way nice and straight for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then over here, we want to come out, I don't know, nice and straight here. Yeah. And now nah, we want to come in straight here. A little bit further up to about here i think yeah this just came out too far okay uh and then down like this yeah yeah i think that works okay so that's a line up to washington and we'll have have some potential passing here uh this could be busy so i think i want a passing place uh, say, in the middle of this straight bit here. Yeah, I'll put a passing place here. Yeah, okay. So, no, signals. Yes, uh, I want to have a signal here and a signal here. 
and I'm going to need a signal here and probably one about there and no that's fine uh-huh because we have this stuff here no signal goes there right and I need to add a crossover here. Goes like this. Too much curvature. Oh, I can just barely fit it in. Okay. Right, so I'll be able to have a train wait here. A train wait here. And a train in here. Right? So, I think this is going to need a three carriage... A three three car train uh, so we're gonna buy uh, this guy and three we're gonna buy one of them and we're gonna do a new line uh, which is gonna go from here to here uh, so this is uh, NWHVN to wash D no Wash DC. Yeah, okay. WSHDC will do. Uh, okay. Now, uh, let's just check something here. Uh, you can see in here it covers a fair chunk. Uh, so I don't need to put a local line in here just yet. Uh, and I'm going to go in here and repay what I can so that the interest costs are lower. And then I'm going to come over here. We're going to ride the train out to the the new uh, Washington line. So I need to find the uh, icon for it. There it is. Right? Uh, okay, we're riding the train. Now, I'm also running a map that I'm not showing uh, on the series. It's a different map. And I did some experimentation on it where I built everything double tracked and it's the same basic setup you know, connect everything with passengers and, and all that. Uh, except there's a couple of issues with that map where I've got, I've had to build long helixes and things like that, just the way the elevations worked out. Anyway, uh, I, I learned the hard way on that map that building everything double track everywhere all the time uh, really erodes your uh, income in 1850. Uh, running costs get pretty uh, substantial. And as a result of that, uh, there's a fair bit of, uh, of stuff that, uh, a fair bit of waiting that one needs to do. And it's just not all that fun. And that's why I'm building mostly single track stuff here, other than the fact that I like it, right? Uh, now, I'm saying that now after my break instead of uh, before. Uh, because uh, it's been uh, quite a few days since I recorded the previous part that you see you saw here. Uh, and we are not going anywhere. We are waiting for a free path because we were waiting for a tr train to come somewhere. Uh-huh. I see, I think. Okay. Do we get to move when this train clears? No. Um, oh, I think I see what the, uh, what the problem is here. Okay. I think this particular spot needs to be dual tracked. Oh, no, we're going. Um, yeah. It didn't uh, deadlock, so I think we're okay there. Uh, one of the problems is the implicit signals in the stations don't take effect. Like, they don't apply when, uh, when the train is running through. Uh, so uh, it's really annoying. It's, it's one major flaw in tra the Transport Fever games is that the implicit signals at the the station platforms do not apply for through trains and there's no way to modify the station configuration like in the UI to say yes this signal applies also for through trains 
uh, which would be really nice uh, if if it could. Um, right. So we're we're doing okay here. We're uh, we're making our uh, our way to the the new uh, location. So uh, I think I'm probably going to end up having to uh, uh, turn some of this into a main line ultimately uh, before I get the whole uh, the whole deployment situation completed. Right. And the, the whole reason for that is. Uh, I'm going to need to be able to deploy trains without them getting stuck. So we picked up 12 passengers on this first uh, uh, this first run, the maiden voyage, over to uh, Washington D.C. Right, and that's actually uh, kind of uh, kind of good. Uh, right. So yeah, there's a bear coming. Uh, right. So uh, do the uh, passing place here. Right. No, this isn't so bad. Oh, I... Ooh, we've got a deep cut here. Yeah. Now, that won't be as bad once the uh, the city grows up around that. Ooh! We're going to pick up a full load here and leave some behind. Yeah. So this is probably going to need two trains on it. Uh, or this may be one where longer platforms and longer trains are beneficial. Uh, so at some point, retrofitting platforms is going to be a thing, right? And uh, new um, uh, new development that way is going to need to happen, right? Uh, but this is, this is working, so uh, we're good there. Uh, how many were left behind up here? Oh, yeah, we need a second train on here. For sure. How many are here? Uh, only three. Okay. Do I need a second train? Or is this a case of uh, passengers not getting here yet? Oh, that could be it, yeah. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, we'll take a look here. And uh, with the, all the spending, we lost roughly the amount we spent in... Uh, this period down not much in the pre in the previous period uh, now the now that the train is moving passengers it should ultimately bring in a profit and that uh, that should uh, bring this number uh, net positive we'll just uh, wait for uh, uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, how many did, did we... Yeah, we definitely want a second train on there. Okay. So, if we go in here... Uh, manage the vehicle. And... I think that's about what we need to do it. Oh. Yeah, we'll get a second train on there. Uh, and I think it's going to be necessary. Uh, right repay that uh right so uh five and a half mil spent here and that gets us two trains on the line and i think manage line uh no uh if we look in here uh yeah so we've got Eighty-four capacity there, and we've got forty-two loaded. So uh, we're taking forty-two up to DC. Yeah, that's going to definitely help the profit margins uh, quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that train is showing a ninety-five k profit now. Uh, so I think so. That's DC, right? Uh, so I can close that and uh, close this. This is not going to go positive, but note that the uh, the amount. Uh, negative is roughly equivalent to the train purchase, right? Uh, so uh, that's going to be a thing. Now, uh, the next episode, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I think it might make sense to uh, to connect uh, New Haven down to Huntsville. Uh, 
I think ultimately the main line will go via Everett and then Tulsa and then Warren, but uh, I think New Haven to Huntsville is the thing to do. Uh, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll look into that uh, next time. I think may change my my mind by the time the the time comes, but uh, that is something that is a possibility, right? Uh, right, so if we kick in here, uh, yeah, so, yeah, we, we lost 1.5 and uh, 1.52, and that's roughly equivalent to the spending on the train plus the uh, interest. So, uh, yeah, that should, uh, that should even out uh, nicely. Uh, because we had a net positive on the train, which was more than the interest. Uh, although we had 50k negative on the road vehicles, right? So, so that's a thing, right? Uh, anyway, uh, it looks like it's going to uh, tick along uh, potentially positive here, and that will will be good. I'll probably end up running this forward again to get you know 10 mil available again. Uh, and that should be, that shouldn't be too terribly hard to do here, uh, as long as the numbers here end up being, uh, favorable, right? Uh, and I think they, they will ultimately end up being favorable. Uh, yeah, especially once the second train is running on here. Um... Uh, Is that it? That is it. Okay. So, you are taking seven. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, everything seems to be working here. And as I run it forward, I may have to adjust things. Uh, I will probably also look into uh, building up the local... Uh, uh, transport within DC uh, just so that things can uh, pick up a little bit more there. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. I will be back again with some other projects uh, uh, that will that will happen. Uh, but for now, I do have a Patreon. If for some reason you do want to support the channel, it's an option. The link will be in the description. Uh, or you can ignore the link and just do something else, right? You can also like, comment, subscribe. You know that business, you know, save you know, it saves you your money, right? You don't have to spend any. Uh, but, you know, you can do it. And uh, it allegedly helps the channel. Uh, or you can just not do that, in which case, you know, whatever uh, you do. You do you, you know, all that jazz. And it uh, looks like it's still negative here, so I may have uh, issues that I have to work out. Anyway, that's going to be, that's definitely going to be all for now. So all of that rambling aside, see you back next time.